My name is Hyde Russell. I'm an attending cardiac surgeon at both Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago and Northwestern Memorial Hospital. Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com. We're here with Dr. Hyde Russell of Northwestern Memorial Hospital. What type of cardiac surgery do you specialize in? So I do both pediatric and adult cardiac surgery. I do congenital heart surgery at the Children's Hospital here in Chicago, and I come over to the adult hospital with a main interest in adult congenital heart surgery. So what attracted you to pediatric cardiac surgery? Cardiac surgery has always been a, a love of mine just for the technical aspects of it and my own personal fascination with heart surgery. My father was a cardiologist. I kind of grew up in the fold, if you will. Always had a, uh, an interest in it, which became a love for it uh, during medical school and during surgical training. And the whole package of the, of the pediatric part really made for a good fit for me. I like working with the kids. I like working with their families. Well, is valve disease a common problem among children? Congenital heart disease occupies about 1% of all patients born. That's a lot of patients. Almost half of them have some valve-related problem. A big question we get from the parents in particular is, how is a valve procedure different for a child versus an adult? So a valve procedure is different in a child versus an adult for two reasons. One, pediatric patients with valve disease, if they have associated congenital defects, that can impact how a valve repair is done. So the anatomy of children with congenital heart defects can be very different from adults with acquired valve disease. Furthermore, there's growth issues with children. So the typical valve procedures that are common in the adult world, namely valve replacements, are problematic in children. Are the success rates similar to adults as they are for children? The success rates between children with valve disease and adults with valve disease are similar. The difference with this particular question is that children have a much longer follow-up than the average adult who's undergoing a valve operation and is say 50 years old. That patient may have 20, 30 years of follow-up, whereas a five-year-old who is undergoing a valve operation is going to have 50, 60, 70 years of follow-up where that valve repair needs to work. If surgery is a success, is it likely that children may need another surgery down the Road. I never tell a patient or I never tell a family of a, of a child that this is the last operation they're ever going to have. That would be the wrong information to give. What they need to know is that we're going to do everything we can to make this a durable, long-lasting procedure. Can you tell us about your specific experience with the Ross procedure? Our experience with the Ross operation in Chicago is an experience of about 80 patients uh, over the last 15 years, both children and adults, when it comes to aortic valve replacement options, there are in general two options, a mechanical valve or a tissue valve. And we offer the option of a Ross operation, which is what I call the third option, and oftentimes what I think is the best option, especially for young patients. The uh, advantage of the Ross operation is that it keeps native tissue. It uses the body's own pulmonary valve as the new aortic valve. The reason we like that is that it has a good track record for endocarditis or infection of the new valve. It has a good track record for longevity of the valve and how the valve holds up over time. And it's the body's own tissue. So Dr. Russell, what's your number one piece of advice for parents with children diagnosed with valve disease? So my advice for patients with children diagnosed with valve disease is um, to find a center that they're comfortable with. The care of these children and of this family is more than just one person. It's a whole team of people, and that's what we strive for here, both at the Children's Hospital and here at Northwestern, is the team approach. As a surgeon, doing a successful operation is much more than just me. It's also who the scrub nurse is, who my assistant is, who the anesthesiologist is, and again, it's more than just one doctor. It's the whole team that's taking care of your patients.